What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Haas Garage. Let's go check out what PRL Motorsports sent. They sent me a brown box. No, I'm just kidding. Um, inside of here, there is a kit for the K24 Z3, and you could use it on the Z7 to adapt the windage tray for the Type S, the oil pump, because you know what? When you look at this without the oil pan, let me just take the oil pan off so you can see. All right, so take this thing off. I already zapped the bolts off. Yeah, you just you sit there and don't go anywhere. When you take the Type S oil pump and you put it on the Z3, which I already cut mine, by the way, there are plenty of videos out there on the internet on how to cut your Type S oil pump. I'm not going to make one because that's how I learned. I watched on YouTube. So if you just search Type S oil pump, on K24, you're gonna see a lot of videos pop up. Best one I found was uh, Aki's video from from his channel, uh, Keep Gunning. So just look that up, you'll see it. It's a great instructional video, a lot of a lot of knowledge there. All right, so you put your dials in, right? Dee -dee 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 -doom. Just wiggle it on, boom, there it is. So you can see, right? It clears everything, I'll show you on the back, right? Clears, here's the problem. What do you do about this? Well, PRL Motorsports makes a kit that allows you, which is in there, it allows you to have something underneath this to support the pump. It also uh, is a modified windows tray, so when you put it on here, it'll give you somewhere to mount. It's a really cool kit. I'm glad that they sent it to me. Very happy. So big thanks to PRL for sending that kit. I'm gonna make plenty of good use on it, and you know, everybody that's watching, you could see how to do it as well for yourself. I think that the Z3 motor or Z7, Z3 is going to be the future. A2s are getting even more scarce. I mean, go to your local junkyard, see if you can find one. I mean, you can always import one from a JDM importer, but they're going to get harder and harder to find. So the Z3, stronger rods, so there's a lot of other things about it that I think definitely, you know, make it a better engine. So big thanks to PRL for sending it. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Here's the box from PRL Motorsports. Big thank you to these guys. All right, okay, swag me out. Shoot, it's good stickers from my toolbox. Put them on there, PRL, that's what's up. Very well packaged, check this out. Thank you for choosing PRL Motorsports. We appreciate the love and support. Um, you guys can pause and read this, very cool. So if you're missing anything, you can always hit them up, they make it right. They put all their contact information in there, that's what's up, boom. Thanks, Connor. Packaged it very well. All right, so we got a bag. All right, all right, let me move this bubble wrap. So, woo, we got some fittings there, bungs and fittings. Everything's pre-packaged, which is cool. Everything's like individually packaged. So you have your standoff. That's the thing that goes underneath the oil pump and supports it to give it somewhere to bolt. So you have your hardware for that. Very cool. We have the oil filter relocation kit from PRL. Block off plate, three bolts for that. You even got the uh, oil filter holder. That's an actual Honda, Honda thing there. I'll show you how that works here in a minute. More bubble wrap, which I don't mind. I reuse this stuff anyway. All right, here's our Honda windage tray, which that up take a look see if I can it's so well packaged goodness there we go so they take a stock TSX or R6 type S yeah R6 type S windage tray and they modify it so that way you get a point to bolt uh, your uh, windage tray to so check that out I mean that's done very well you know what I'm saying? Even got a little cool color. Nobody's gonna see it, but that's all good. So let's uh, lay this all out. Nice, so there's the kit. That's the whole K24 Z3, Z7 oil pump DIY kit. I mean, the part number freaking says DIY. You can do this yourself. Check that part number out right there. PRL da, 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 oil DIY, DIY conversion kit. You can do this. I can do it. That's 
again, big thanks to PRL for sending this. Uh, I mean, literally couldn't proceed any further on the project without it. So big thank you to them. If you need anything, check them out. Obviously, you can follow them on their social media, PRLmotorsports.com, Facebook, Instagram, and even on YouTube. YouTube there. The YouTubes. All right, so like I showed before, we just pop, we're going to pop this oil pan off. You can see here our pump's already on. I'm going to pull that off, and we're going to do this kit. All right, so we're looking at the side of the block here. Normally, there is a housing for a filter that sticks off like a UFO, um, but very common to delete that on the Z3s, Z7s, and relocate them right here. This is where the A2, A4, and all your typical K-Series oil filters are. They just deleted it. This will come off. The oil filter holder will go on right in that place there. And the nice block off plate, which PRL sent us. It's got the uh, O-rings already put in for us. And they're already even lubricated from, from them, which is cool. There's the, the plate. Let me flip that over. There we go. And that's going to go on just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. Literally just three Allen bolts and it goes right on there. No need for a gasket or anything like that. I've got some tape on there just to protect my, my investment. So let's put that on. All right, so to do the PRL oil filter block off plate and relocation, you're going to need a six, where's that? You see that? Yeah, you see that? A six Allen. Now I always use three eighths, you know, cause it's easy, but that's what you're gonna need to drive these bolts in. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm gonna take this protective layer of stuff I got on there and take that off. See here, just gotta peel it off. I brought you in for a closer look, taking that protective tape off. I have a nice clean surface here for the O-rings on the block off plate to do their job. So just literally just put that joker up there. Start starting the bolts in. Super easy. I mean, you'll have to take the original housing off, which is cake. Uh, keep the bolts, clean them up. You never know when you need some fresh Honda bolts. You got them there, might as well. You know, save some money. And I'm just doing everything by hand right now. Do everything by hand. Don't be a hero. You know what I'm saying? Just tightening things up just like so by hand. Until they stop. You know what I'm saying? I'm always careful. I mean, you can run them in with a power tool or whatever. But, I mean... I'm going to tighten them by hand, too. I'm going to use a ratchet. That's, I snug them up. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. There it is. It's that easy, guys. I mean, and gals. You guys can do it. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. So now that looks... That look, I mean, that's clean. So I'm going to go get a ratchet. Okay, see? So all I'm doing, they're already hand snug. You snug them by hand until you can't do them no more. Then you just take a ratchet. So you can't do it no more without, I mean, just turn it until you feel it snug up even more. Do this one over here. Snug. So it stops. It'll stop. See, it stopped. Now I'm going to come over here, put it, put it completely horizontal. Here, I'll do it this way. Put it completely horizontal and then take you a little bit, just a little, just a little bit. Not a lot. You want to crush the O-rings. See, just, that's it. That's it, done. That's sealed up proper, looks great. Now, we'll move over to the oil filter holder. Since this is blocked off, the engine has to have its filter somewhere. This is a cap, it comes off, this housing comes off, and then we'll be able to put our oil filter holder back in the uh, standard, traditional K-Series location. So, gonna need a tool for that. So this is a 14 here, just gonna, Put this on here and break her loose. Let's see. Goodness, I was on there pretty good. Let me zip this off. Let me get a towel. I'm gonna put a towel underneath here. So there we go. I'm stick that underneath there. Let's zip that off. Okay, whole thing's coming off. All right. Boom. See that? Now you're thinking. I know you think what I was thinking before. Well, dang. Well, why can't I? Oh no, you can't. It's a banjo boat. 
banjo bolt there. So this whole housing, don't need. You can get rid of it. Now, this is looking like your traditional K-series, right? So we'll take that oil filter housing tool, oil filter holder, and we'll screw that in just like so. Really easy. Don't gotta be a superhero, you know what I mean? If it doesn't feel right, stop. You know? Just chase it in. Real easy like. Okay? See that? Real easy. All right, so check me out. All you need is an oil filter to thread that thing on. Now I have, this is separate. This doesn't come with the, uh, with the kit, but I have an oil filter relocation kit uh, that relocates it. <laughs> I know it's silly. Relocates it from the side of the engine to somewhere else. So you would think, well, why wouldn't you go off of the plate and relocate somewhere else? I'm like, well, I'll show you why. Because where the oil filter goes, at the angle it goes, it hits my cross member. My cross member goes in here, in between the two sumps of the oil pan. So that's out of the question. I can't do that. So I definitely needed a thing from PRL. Big thanks to them again. But I got a little kit off of the internet. Uh, this one specific is, uh, is the blocks. So, I mean, I could relocate anywhere. These are cheap. You can get these all day long. So I used it, uh, you know, as a tool to thread this on, to thread that on. So you're like, oh, well, why do I have like a little bit of thread on the back left? That's okay. It still makes a good seal onto the, uh, onto the housing. Your oil filter will have a seal, so no big deal. But I was able to put two on at the same time, basically. But with this guy right here or an oil filter, you can just use it to go on. And as long as it snugs up and it seals, if you're wondering if it did or didn't, you know, you should have pre-moistened your seal anyway with oil. But you can be able to see here the residue and the exact line where it left it. So now, screw your oil filter on or whatever you got. There we go. Nice and snug. So your oil filter's here or whatever you got. I got another relocation kit, so I have two, but I've got heat issues that prevent me from running an oil filter here. That's separate. Can you tell I'm paranoid? <laughs> I tape everything off. If I'm not putting a fitting or connect or anything, tape it off. I wish I had some rubber caps to just put them on there. But anyway, your oil filter will go here in place of this relocation kit. This is just something I have to get away from the header fold so I get my oil away from the any unnecessary heat. So it'll look the same with just an oil filter on it. So that right there is going to do the job. It's time to take this off. You can see I already zipped everything off. Uh, let's do the rest of the kit. So here's a mock-up. I went ahead and took the leg off the bat out of the bag. It comes with these two long bolts. And I was like, oh, these must be for the oil pump or whatever. Nah, fam, they're not. These are to replace your girdle bolts. Bolts. Because the girdle bolts have to come out. See that there? So let me move this here so you can see. Move this pump out of the way. See that? See how they're a different length? See how that's deeper? This is shallower. Those puppies gotta come out. Pataya. That's how that works. By the way, this is really nice. It's anodized. Real nice piece. Pearl didn't have to anodize it. They could have just left it raw. But this little extra goes a long way. It feels nice. See, so feel it. Oops, you can't feel it. Okay, so must take those two girdle bolts out. Don't be no hero, put no impact on it. We just need to take those two off. So, one. Wow, you're really Seven. strong. Well, I mean, I'm pushing my gut on it. It's <laughs> pounds of push, you know what I mean? All right, so that's done. They're broke loose. You wanna save some time. Action. Damn. Total. Total. That's a million dollar oil pan. Because you can't buy one. It's a freaking oil pan. Well, you can't buy it one. It doesn't make any sense. You're going to take an affordable swap and make it unaffordable. Does that make sense? Yeah. You, you would think if there were people beating down my door to buy a thousand, eleven, twelve hundred dollar oil pan or whatever it cost, I would be up at night well, drink, drinking coffee. Yeah, I'm making the crap out of them. Yeah, you know? but, but not. not it, it's. 
you know, you get these engines from the junker for like 400 bucks and then the most expensive things, freaking oil paint, it doesn't make no sense. I mean, not everybody can make their own. Not everybody has a welder, nothing like that. Look at that. I pulled the bolts out. See, they're different length. This is from the shallow side, this is the deep side, or this is the deep side, this is the shallow side, like that. Look at this. It just drops right in. Like, they, somebody knew what they was doing. This is going to allow us to bolt stuff to stuff and make stuff work stuff, better stuff, if that makes any sense. I just, I have a hard time. Yeah, finally you get to film a video finally stuff. and then it's raining. Yeah, rain, 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 right? It's always that. People are like, oh, rain makes me sleep so good with a metal roof. But it's not so good for the Yoto video. So now we'll use this. I'll use this to block off that oil plate, that oil jet that splashes oil on the uh, balance shafts because that's not threaded in there. Now A2, A4s, those are threaded. Z3, Z7, that's not threaded. But it really, it just depends on the girdle and the guy working at the factory at the time. But this saddle plug will go in there, reverse option, right? And then that'll go right there. Check it out. It's all chalky now. It's not all shiny because I hit it with some brake clean because I'm going to Loctite it when it goes in there. So never come out. All right. So here's the theory. This goes in this hole right here. And then this screws in there. See? Like that. Like that. So I have to use some of this thread lock. Let's go ahead and set this in there. it seals i mean i felt it click and it felt i feel the resistance of the o-ring so now put some lock tight on this dang did they sell me a dry too oh nope they didn't they sold me a good one <laughs> all right so now we put it in real easy like boom threads in so now this guy right here it's torqued down nice and snug. It's never going to leak. We're not going to have oil coming out and splashing where it doesn't need to go. So now I'll have to put the spacers. I think it's like here and then over here, an extension there. And then I think there's one more down there. Then I still have to figure out where those little NF, you know, NPT, NPT plugs go. NFT, man. NFT, yeah. Digital art, bro. Yeah, digital, digital. So, so it's, it's blocked off. It's solid. No, it's it easier. looks solid. No, is it? No, it looks solid. Is it? It looks solid. Dude. I ain't got my phone with me. I ain't got no light. Here, I'll get the big light. I'm using my phone oh. for these guys to hang out. Our digital friends. I think that's that's not always. No, it's 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 closed. So yeah. no need to block that off. Yeah. So that's that stops. That's a closed hole. Yeah. So then the answer, the question still is: these little guys it doesn't fit in any single hole that's in this girdle. So I have no use for these two. Yeah, but we gotta figure. We need to know what they were. They were they, they block something. Does it block that? Huh? Maybe one of these. Let me see. Let me that, look. In, let me look in the hole. Where does it go? It's got oil in it. But, it, I mean, I but is it hollow? I don't know. It's got oil. It's holding oil. Okay. Well, is this too big? That's too big. Is this? This is it. So maybe this goes in there. So let me get a, uh, a tool. Because that's the only one I see that's a larger size hole out of the other ones. And, oh, you know what it is? What's up? No. Would the other one block this? No. Let's go on here. It's threaded, yeah, yeah, it threads in. So mm -hmm. common sense tells me that that should go in yeah. there. I wonder if one's for Z7, because this is Z3. This is Z3. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I can't use it. There's no hole for it. So. so if I can only use this one, then that's the only one I'll use. I'll thread that in. I'll put a little Loctite and brick cleaner on it. Brick cleaner, then Loctite. And it won't ever go nowhere. There we go. That's brick cleaned. It's like it never wants. To, there it is. I don't like these two these bottles. I'd rather just have the regular old tube, the cheap tube, 
or the big bottle. I want it to flip over and use gravity. All right, that's enough. That should be more than enough there. There. So that ain't going nowhere. Now it's time for the spacers and the windage tray bolts. So, it's designed to keep it up off the crank so the crank can clear. So this is the sketchy part where you hope to God you don't drop anything. I know I need, oh, problem. I need to modify the windage tray to clear that bolt. Got that, that bolt there. So I just need to drill a hole right there. Yeah, here, take a closer look. This is what's going on. So the head of this is too big and where this mounts up, it just doesn't clear. You know what I mean? That hole is not for that, it's for the other hole. So I need to drill a hole in the windows tray. All right, so just to be clear, this piece of kit is not from PRL. See? This piece, I got it from Track Tough. So you either have to like modify the head of the bolt, which is like a pain. So I just modified the windows tray, you know, give me the room. Ta-da, in the business, okay, good to go. So now I'll put the spacers so the crank can clear and we'll be done. So that's it. All right, so check it out. So now, I, you know, I took that balance shaft oil pump off. I left the chain because I didn't take the front cover off or none of that. I just pulled it off the, the cog. So now I'm going to hold this and this is going to get spun to make sure that we don't have the crank rubbing up on the windows tray. Very hard to push. Mm-hmm. Lots of, lots of compression. I don't hear it hitting, so we're good. That's a good motor if I ever heard one. Yeah. We're good. I'll take now, it. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I'm going to go ahead and put the pickup tube on. Peak gain. Bada boom. Oh, I should have put that bolt. Look at that. That's why you learn when you do things. So that, that pickup tube gets bolted onto there. So I'll fix that here, two seconds. All right, so I've got the oil pump pickup tube bolted down here, but not tight all the way. We gotta put this bolt in that, that will seal it, but I'm gonna lock tight it so it doesn't come out. Yeah, just hit it like this. That's it. All right. It's an open hole, so I ain't gonna worry about nothing. Now we're running out. There it is. That's more than enough. I should have red Loctite it, but whatever. to just throw the oil pan on and PRL kit will be done. Well, there you have it. The PRL Z3, Z7 oil pump adapter kit is, is done. Big shout out and thanks to PRL for sending that to me. Make sure you hit all the buttons, like, subscribe. We got more videos coming out for you. I've got some stuff coming to make that engine turn something else. So we'll see that then. See you next time.